Welcome back. Today I'll be talking about Olight's brand new Arkfeld Pro 3-in-1 flashlight. Let's check it out. This is everything the Arkfeld Pro comes with. Give you a look at the box right here. Typical lumens and runtime information on the back. In this bag is Olight's magnetic charger. I have about a hundred of these. That's why it's still in the bag. I basically just reuse the same ones over and over again. Right here is an owner's manual and warranty information. And then right here is the brand new three-in-one Arkfeld Pro. And while you guys are checking this out, let's talk about some of the features. So the Arkfeld Pro is a three-in-one flashlight that combines a 1300 lumen white light a 900 milliwatt ultraviolet light, and a class 3R green laser. It also features five brightness levels plus strobe. And those modes are controlled with a single button and a rotating dial. You have your choice between a cool white version or a neutral white version. The flashlight that I have here is the 5700 to 6700 Kelvin cool white version. As of right now, it's available in three different colors, black, orange, and a limited edition zombie green. The body's made from a single piece of aluminum and features an anti-slip texture on both sides. And powering everything is a built-in 1500 milliamp hour rechargeable lithium ion battery that can be charged with the included magnetic charger and provides a maximum runtime of about 11 days. It has a waterproof rating of IPX7. The X means the dust proofing wasn't tested and the seven means it's submersible in up to three feet of water for up to 30 minutes. And it has a one meter impact resistance. All right, now let's talk dimensions. It has a length of 4.72 inches, a width of 1.06 inches, and a thickness of 0.63 inches. And according to my weight test, it comes in at 3.92 ounces. That's 111 grams. So the Arkfeld Pro is sort of like the OG Arkfeld and the Arkfeld UV got together and had a much larger baby because it combines the white light, green laser, and ultraviolet light and puts it into one body. And that's the reason why it's larger because they combine these two flashlights and put it into one body. On top of that, it packs a larger internal battery, 1500 milliamp hour battery, which is 42.9% larger than these two versions right here. Also a 30% increase in lumens, 1000 lumens in these flashlights and 1300 lumens here in the Pro. So the other upgrades in the Pro is the ultraviolet light. It now features a 900 milliwatt ultraviolet light, which is 55% higher output than the original Arkfeld UV. And this is sort of hard to demonstrate right here, but if I turn on the ultraviolet light on both, you can see the version right here it's much brighter and it's actually showing up on camera a little better than I thought. And it also increases the power of that green laser. So let me grab the original arc field right here, turn it on to the green laser mode and check this out. This is a five milliwatt class 3R laser and you can definitely see the difference. Look how much larger the green laser is here on the Pro. If I get in closer to the table, you can definitely see on the Pro here, that green dot is larger and much brighter. So they don't just call this the Arcfield Pro for no reason. There is a lot of upgrades in this version over the previous Arcfield models here. So what's the trade-off? Well, of course, it's larger. If I hold these up side by side, you can see it is a much larger flashlight in length, width, and thickness. And it's also a heavier flashlight, but that has a lot to do with that bigger battery here. And the Arcfeld Pro borrows a lot of features from the Arcfeld UV here. You can see it borrows the anti-slip texture on the sides from the UV, and it also borrows the two-way pocket clip, something that the original Arkfelds never had. Plus it keeps that slimmer base on the tail that we saw on the Arkfeld UV. So that's the Arkfeld UV and the Pro, and this is the original Arkfeld. Also it kept the four light LED battery life indicator right there. So if I press that button again, you can see it is a boot up battery life indicator, four LEDs. Each one of those LEDs indicates a brightness level, but when it gets down really low under 10%, just that first LED will glow, but it'll glow red. So a five stage battery life indicator indicated by four LEDs. But let's take a look at this rotating dial right here. So everything is controlled with this single side switch and you can switch between ultraviolet, white light, and the green laser just by rotating it. But check out the differences in this rotating dial. They put this little tab on the bottom right there and on every single 
previous Arkfeld, they have two tabs on the side. Now, honestly, I like this design better. I like having these tabs on the side because when I'm holding this flashlight, it just felt very natural to flip these modes around with those two tabs. When I first picked this up, I was over here trying to reach for that tab and all I got was a smooth surface because they moved that tab to the very bottom. It is not a huge deal, but I sort of wish it had the two tabs on the side again, or if you're gonna give us a tab on the bottom, give us three total, one on the bottom and then two on the sides. Because I've been carrying this flashlight for about a week now and I'm still trying to find those tabs on the side just based on muscle memory. And I've released a lot of content on my channel about the Arcfell. It's one of my favorite Olight flashlights and I love the flat design. The flat design is perfect for everyday carry. It just feels great when it's in your pockets. A lot better than a traditional round flashlight in my opinion. So I love the flat design of the Arcfeld. I like now that they have the two-way pocket clip right here. And the larger size might bug a lot of people, but actually I think it feels really good. And the reason I covered the Arkfeld a lot on my channel is because I thought it was a great flashlight, especially with this laser pointer. Now I don't really have a job that absolutely needs to have this laser pointer. I'm not working in an office or I'm pointing at a presentation on the wall, but I work in the film industry. So when we're on a set outside somewhere, I'm constantly using this green laser to point at where I need to go or where things should go. But regarding the UV light right here, I never really had a use for the Arcveld UV. Yes, I know it has a lot of useful applications such as seeing stains on a bed if you go to a hotel. If you have pets, which I do, you can spot pet urine. Some people use it to spot counterfeit bills and it even has hunting applications for tracking. So combining all three of those applications into one, I think is pretty darn cool. Now, before I move on and talk about the lumens and runtime, I'm just gonna show you the differences right down the barrel there. So this is the Pro and this is the Arcfeld. You can see the white light, the ultraviolet light, and the green laser on the Pro is now dead center, as opposed to the Arcfeld, which has the white light right here and the green laser off to the side. And if I bring in the Arcfeld UV, you can see it's basically the same thing. The white light and the ultraviolet light are on the same side, but no green laser here. And here you can really see that size difference in width and thickness. All right, now let's go over the lumens and runtime. So let's start at moonlight, that is one lumen, and has the maximum runtime for 11 days. I love a one lumen moonlight mode. And low, 15 lumens has a 55 hour runtime. Medium is 100 lumens and has a nine hour and 45 minute runtime. High is 420 lumens for 135 minutes, then steps down to 100 lumens for 12 minutes. And then turbo, the maximum output of 1300 lumens, you get four minutes there, which I'll be testing out shortly, but then it steps down to 420 lumens and that runs for 125 more minutes. And then you can see the maximum throw on turbo is 102 meters with a 2,608 candela. So it's not the brightest or longest throwing flashlight in the world at 1300 lumens, but it definitely gets the job done, especially for EDC, that's really all you need. And I think the mode spacing here is pretty decent. Uh, one lumen moonlight mode is always appreciated. Then 15, 100, 420, I think is great. But lately I've been wanting to see something in between high and turbo because I think the jump from 420 to 1300 is just too high. All right, let's go over the UI. It's very simple and I sort of already started talking about it, but you guys already know how to use this anyways, I believe. But let's go over it anyways. Everything is controlled with this switch right here. So ultraviolet, green laser, and white light modes. For the ultraviolet, just click it over there, give that button a press, and now we're in ultraviolet. And the same thing with the green laser mode. And yes, you can see that that is on the fly. So once it's on, all you have to do is just rotate the switch left to right, and it switches automatically. But if we click it over to white light mode, turn it off, press and hold, for a couple seconds, there's our one lumen moonlight mode. Now to activate our normal modes, what you wanna do is just click and hold. Right there, there's low, medium, and high. Those are cyclable. One click off and one click back on. You can see it does have a memory, which is pretty standard these days, but some flashlights still don't have it, believe it or not, so it's appreciated. And if you wanna get to turbo, just double click. There is our maximum 1300 lumen turbo. Now, even though it does have a memory, you can't recall turbo. So if I double click, put it on turbo, one click off, click it back on, it just goes to high. So you can't recall turbo. Also, it does have a button press lockout. Just click and hold from off. It'll cycle past moonlight and 
now it's locked out. And that's indicated with that single red LED right there. And if you want to unlock, same thing, press and hold, and now we're unlocked. To get the strobe, just triple click that button. There is strobe. And one brand new feature that I absolutely love, if you're on the green laser and it's on, just double click the side button right there. And now you can see we are in white light mode and the green laser mode at the same time. And you can still cycle the modes right here. You probably can't see that green laser because it's so bright, but right there in low, you can absolutely see it. That's something the original Arkfeld couldn't do. So if I put it in green laser mode and double press, see? Nothing. So having the ability to activate the green laser and the white light mode, I think is fantastic. All right, now it's time for my not so scientific heat and turbo test. Here I let the Arcfeld Pro run for four minutes since they claim that it got four minutes worth of turbo runtime. And at the same time, I was also taking this temperature with my infrared thermometer because something's going on with my thermal camera. I'm not sure what's going on with it, but I couldn't use it today. So after one minute at the head, it was 77 degrees Fahrenheit and at the body, it was 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Not bad at all, but at the same time, this is only a 1300 lumen flashlight. So the heat isn't going to be bad at all. So I'm just gonna put on the screen the rest of the times here. Um, you don't need gloves or anything like that if you're running this flashlight on turbo for any extended amount of time. And regarding the turbo step down, when I'm editing, I'll look and see exactly when it started to step down and when it ended that step down. And I'll put it on the screen right now. All right, let's do the beam test. I'll start on low here. I'm just gonna bypass moonlight. Nobody's gonna be using moonlight outside really anyway. So this is low. As expected, not really much, but let's go right to medium. Uh, there we go. So medium, I'm starting to get that tree right there. I'll put up the distance between me and that tree. See if I can hit the barn. Yeah, hit the barn over here. And just so you guys know, I'm not out here physically measuring this distance. I am using Google Earth for the distances here. So if it doesn't look like the distance that I'm putting on the screen through the camera lens, uh, blame Google Earth, okay? Other than that, I'm not gonna get out here and measure that by hand, not happening. Anyways, there's high, 420 lumens. And as expected, it's a fairly widespread out beam. The beam pattern there, look at that. So you can see sort of a hot spot right there. It's not very well defined and neither is that outer perimeter. But based on this lens here, sorry, based on the, uh, the reflector and the lens right there, I wasn't really expecting it. And plus, you know, I'm sort of used to the other arc felds. So let's go right to turbo. Boom. Wow. 1300 lumens. I mean, that is really lighting every look check that out so that is getting the entire tree right here that it's a very wide beam getting all those trees in the background right there there's the barn so hopefully this gives you guys a nice idea of what this beam is going to look like actually there was a deer right there when i first came out here very big had antlers and everything ran away was hoping to maybe catch it on camera but there's turbo. Actually, what I want to do is I'm going to flip it over to the laser beam and check that out. Let me see if I can hit the barn back there. I am hitting that barn with ease. That is amazing. So, wow, that is actually really impressive. That green laser that is hitting that easily from my location. Um, now let's go to the ultraviolet light and yeah, it is definitely brighter than the Arkfeld UV. Let's see if I can maybe, there we go. Wow. Try to hit some of these white objects here to see what it looks like. That is actually very, very bright. Very cool. All right, so let's move on to the next location.
All right, so the Arkfeld Pro, what do I think about this? First off, that beam pattern out there when I was doing the beam shots took me by surprise a little bit. This is a lot floodier than I thought it was gonna be. That's why I was taking the light away and then bringing it back just so I can show you guys just how wide that beam spread is. This is the cool white version. So the color temperature they say is between 5,700 and 6,700. Uh, you guys know I love neutral white everyday carry flashlights. The color temperature out of here isn't that bad. I didn't really see a lot of green, even in the lower lighting modes, I didn't see a lot of green tint here. So that's really nice, but with my everyday carry flashlights, I sort of want to go with a neutral white. That's just my preference. But you will get a slider lumen bump if you go with the cool white version, at least you should. But as a flashlight, I mean, I love the Olight Arcfell. It's one of my favorite flashlights from Olight. And all they did was take the two previous Arcfells and combine them into the Pro here. So what's not the like really? Yes, it's slightly bigger, but if you think about it, it takes the place of two flashlights. So in that regard, it's really not that bad at all. Plus the increased size of that lithium ion battery inside to 1500 milliamp hours uh, gives you longer runtime. So that is always a plus. So the Olight Arcfell being one of my favorite flashlights, it's almost impossible not to like the Pro here being a three-in-one version. Plus it just has that typical Olight quality. I mean, it feels very, very nice. And by the way, did you guys see that laser beam out there? I mean, I was hitting that barn like it was nothing. The laser in this is incredible. Plus the increased output in that UV light. This is a very impressive light. So do I recommend the Olight Arcfeld Pro? Yeah, absolutely I do. They took everything that was great about the original Olight Arcfeld and the Olight Arcfeld UV, combined it into this bad boy, which is the Pro. So I 100% recommend this light and basically this renders my previous Arcfelds obsolete almost. That's kind of a depressing thought, but at least I have the Pro and this will be seeing some pocket time. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the brand new Arcfeld Pro? Now, if you wanna check this out for yourself, I will put links down below in my description box, but if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!